Hi and welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. If you like this video, please hit like. That helps other people to find it easier. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. As one channel I follow says, hey, what do you got to lose? Okay, on we go. Last week we started talking about uh, sensors on the engine and systems on the engine. And today we're going to continue with that. And we're going to be looking at a very small, often overlooked, sometimes even hard to find sensor called the ambient air pressure sensor. Some people call it the barometric pressure sensor. It is a very powerful sensor. <clears throat> and at Keon, the ECM zeros, uh, the pressure, the sensors that read pressure, it uses this as the zeroing sensor because the ECM actually reads everything in absolute, but uh, for our sake, they display it in PSI because we wouldn't want an absolute oil pressure gauge on the dash because if we had one, zero would actually be where I'm at, 20, about 28.8 to 29 inches of mercury. That would be that's what it would read, and that would be zero oil pressure. So that's why it converts it. Uh, if you work with natural gas engines, you'll understand absolute pressure and the difference between the conversion of the PSI that they do on the, uh, the non-natural gas automotive engines. So let's take a look at the ambient air pressure sensor and just talk about it a little bit. So here we have... Uh, uh, stand back away from the driver's side of the engine. This, of course, is a new engine, so it's not uh, in a truck. But uh, you can see at the bottom left, that's the oil fill cap. And right above that is where the intake stops. And that's where your charge air pipe would come in on the driver's side. There in the front corner is your uh, air, crankcase air filter. But... We see the green um, rectangle towards the bottom right of the photo. That is the ambient air pressure sensor. It is tied to the harness on top of the engine. Sometimes it's turned to the back, towards the injector or towards the head, and it's difficult to see. Sometimes the OEM runs their harness right along this harness, and they tie it to it. It's a bigger harness. So that's almost impossible to find then unless you start cutting ties to find it. That does not have a <clears throat> fitting on it where it bolts into anything. The hole you see on the right would be used on other engine models to bolt that little sensor to a bracket or a fixture. On this engine, it's just tied to the harness. In this next slide, we're going to get a close-up and that you can see the mounting hole not used. This has a sliding lock and then a push tab to get the sensor out of the harness. It's a very small, very light sensor. It's got a pin hole in it. On the other side is where it measures the ambient air pressure. It's on the other side, so if you paint the engine, you don't paint the hole shut. It's a three-wire sensor. It has a five-volt supply, a ground, and then a signal to the ECM. Even though this is a very small sensor, very light, it's a very powerful sensor. When you turn the key on, if you've got Insight and you go to the data logger monitor and click all parameters, you can look down the list for ambient air pressure sensor. That's what it'll be called. And it should be reading whatever your barometer reads at the location you're at, plus or minus 0.5. If it's past beyond that, you might want to uh, change that sensor so that you get a good accurate reading. It's also very important for the turbocharger because this sensor, as you go up in altitude, when you get to about 8,000 feet over sea level, it'll cause a D-rate. You don't have a check engine light, but it'll cause a D-rate to slow down the turbocharger to keep the uh, impeller from spinning so fast that uh, generally the intake impeller, which is made of the aircraft aluminum, that's the one that would explode. 
And so uh, that's another purpose of the ambient air pressure sensor. You never used to see these uh, naturally aspirated engines or low horsepower engines. And after uh, about 2007, I've not seen an engine without one since if it had a turbocharger on it and EGR on it. Uh, early on, those other engines, they used to use the boost sensor to zero all the other sensors. And now that they've got the ambient air pressure sensor, it's the, the one they use to zero everything. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe. See you next time.